everyone, alongside Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. Welcome to Raleigh, North Carolina. The Sharks come into this one potentially a little tired based on what went down last night. And that's where the coach is going to want to rely, James, on his depth of lineup. You might use a different goalie. You might stretch your bench out a little bit. But the fact of the matter is everybody has to do this. How successful can you be? We are about set to drop the puck as both centers make their way into the dot. The Hurricanes start with possession as we are now underway. Slavin's got the puck. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. What a steal in his own end. Regains control here in the neutral zone. Blocker save. And off the save, that one goes into the crowd for a souvenir. San Jose's got it, and they're on the attack. Puck scooped up. He might have a step here. He's clear. Oh, and he misses. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Carolina's got the puck along the boards. Stopped by the goaltender. Save made by the goalie. After the first stop, he's in good position to make a second. Center's jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. San Jose's in now. Moves it to Ajo. Carolina's on the attack. Quick feed to Ajo. Big save. We often talk about a goalie's reflexes. You've got to have quick hands to make a glove stop like that. got the puck in the defensive end. Moves the puck. Rips it and rips it! And that goes off a player in front. Great timing to come up with the interception. Carolina's got possession here in the offensive zone. With the stop. Brickley's got it against the boards. Quick shot! Wide! Oh man, he's frustrated with himself. He's got to get that on the net. And now it's grabbed by Lowry. Gets the puck in deep. The Hurricanes scoop it up along the boards. Knocked away. Smart read by the defender to come up with it. Moves it quickly over to Bugstad. Passes it to Svechnikov. Sve offensive territory. One times it. Beautiful glove stop on that one. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. We got a tie game. And he slides it quickly to Gauthier. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And a smart heads up read to come up with the puck. San Jose's got a hold of it along the wall. San Jose's looking to break out. And he slides it quickly to Steen. Feeds it to Carlson. They've got numbers. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Walmart's got the puck along the wing. Taken along the wall by Gauthier. Takes a shot. Denied by the goaltender. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. The Sharks look to start the transition game. And now he tries to get it across to Svechnikov. Slides the puck across to Kane. Myers got it in the offensive zone. Into the offensive end now. With possession along the wall. Takes a hit. He goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Brody's taking it from his own end. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside.
Good job tangling up his opponent here. Carolina's got the puck behind the net. Gets it out of his own end. Looks to get the puck over to Strom. And now he angles it across to Anderson. Carolina's trying to gain a step. He's in! Oh, what a save! And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Well past the midway mark of this period. We are all tied up in this one. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Poked away! San Jose's got the puck in their own end. Handles the pass from the right wing. Here's the pass! He scores! They take the lead! Well, it looked like this game was going to be even for the longest time because nobody seemed to have the upper hand. Teams are usually more conservative killing penalties than this. They make a mistake, now they give up the man advantage break. The power play doesn't miss on the rush. San Jose's got a one goal lead here in the first. What's the message on the bench, Ray? The message is to be aggressive, to get another one, to try and stretch a lead that you've just built. Pushes it across to Svechnikov. Puts it towards the net. Just slide to the net. San Jose's got the puck. Slides it diagonally to Polino. Fired into the offensive zone, allowing for the blue line to change things up. Handles the puck. Centering Whoa. pass. And that's broken up. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Polino. Hobbling his way over to the bench after being banged up on this last shift. He's going to need some help from the training staff. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. Less than a minute to go here in the opening frame. Play whistle dead because of an offside. Carolina's still trailing here in this opening period despite excellent scoring opportunities in the offensive zone. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Carolina's down to scoring opportunities here late in the first. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. And forces a huge turnover here with the steal. They're trying to close the gap here. It's a turnover, maybe from being too aggressive trying to make a play. Beautiful stop with the stick. Had to be sharp. That's a great A chance. Tries to get it over to Fogel. Let's it go! Oh, and he misses an opportunity there. Looking to be too perfect. Get it on the net. You've got a better chance to squeak one through the goaltender than if you miss it outside the net. The Hurricanes continue to trail despite multiple scoring opportunities here in the late stages of this first period. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Second period set to go. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go. It's period number two. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. Well, this one underway. Ray, give us an update on what your assessment is to this point. Jones is going to be exhausted if the game goes like this. In that first period, he was crazy busy. Done an outstanding job. Quick pass to Slavin. And now he moves it to Flurry. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Here's a short pass to Couture. And now it's over to Carlson. 
And he's able to handle that one. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. We've got a 2-1 game. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Moves it up through the middle from the right. Nice pass. Makes the save. Carolina is still trailing in this one despite numerous shots on goal. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And he makes the easy save. Nice feed from the goaltender. Anderson's moving the puck through his own zone. Tries to get the puck to LeBanc. Strong defensive effort. San Jose's got possession at center. Right in the open ice. That one's picked off. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Sends the pass over. The Sharks gain control of the puck against the wall. San Jose's regain possession of the puck. Here they come on the attack. Into the corner. Great poke check on the reach. Uh, the rookie's still looking for his first goal. He's got the puck in the zone. He can shoot it in. Heck, mine went in off my knee. I don't really care how it goes in. One goal is one goal. Carolina's got a hold of it against the wall. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Takes it across the blue line. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. And he gains the zone here. Moves it to Anderson. Stopped by the goaltender. He's sharp on that one. Nowhere to go for the puck. Shoots it. Tipped in front. Turns it away. Quick feed to Carlson. Kane's dangerous, and he's got the puck now. He had the go-ahead goal earlier on. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Puck picked up by Kane. It's a two-on-one. Here's a chance. Oh, how did he keep that one out? What a save. Dubnik's reflexes help him out. A dangerous chance he turns away. Blocker saved by the goalkeeper. And now he moves it quickly to Niederreiter. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Moves it around along the half wall. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Puck grabbed by Strom. He scores! Two goals on the night for him. They've really been effective for checking. A couple of breaks, and now he's got two. No way sometimes for the goalie to catch up to the pass. It's too quick. It's one-timed into the net. San Jose's now gone ahead by two here tonight, and you know what? They've been the better team, Ray. I don't think that's up for much debate at all. They've had the majority of shots, the majority of possession, and a comfortable two-goal lead. San Jose's lead here in the second period, a direct result of being the more aggressive team offensively. Big time stop! Shows off his athleticism to follow the puck. The deke is made, and he's still right there. More than half the frame has been played here. San Jose's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. The Sharks have been the better team, leading in the shot department, and they lead it on the scoreboard. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Taken by Svechnikov. And we've got a two-on-one. San Jose's got control of the puck. Anderson swooping in on the attack. And that one's broken up. Scooped up along the wall by Slavin. Delayed penalty coming up here. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. Denied by the blocker. And there's the whistle. Let's get the call from the... Anderson's going off for interference. 
He's got to keep his feet moving so he doesn't get called for interference. Man advantage takes to the ice. It's our first opportunity to get a glance at the special teams unit. A criticism of their power play is that they hold the puck. They, oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. Slides into Lowry. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Puts it on net. Stopped by the blocker. Move to the middle. And both sides will be shorthanded now as another penalty is coming up, effectively neutralizing that power play. Pretty nasty whack and slashing the call. If you're going to slash somebody, don't slash him in the pants where it makes all kinds of noise. He gets called up for that almost every time. Well, things should open up for both sides here with a little four-on-four -four action. Four-on-four -four play usually starts pretty cautiously. It takes one missed pass or one missed shot, and all of a sudden there's man advantage breaks opening up all over. 13 seconds. Moves it quickly over to Burns. And as he skates back out onto the ice, it's a brief power play. They'll have to go to work here. And that's blocked away. And manages to clear the zone. Receives the pass. And that's picked off in front. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Gets it out of his own end. Second period nearly in the books here. Here he is. He scores! What a goal! When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. Carolina's got one back late in the second. How does that change things now, Ray? From their bench, it seems like they're pretty excited. They jumped up. They're loud. They're ready to go as they try to find the equalizer. Moves the puck along the half wall. Now a quick pass to LeBanc. Huge steal in his own end. He's got to read the scene much better than that. You're already ahead in the game. Don't turn it over and give up scoring chances. Now once the second one goes in, whether you're a scorer or not, you start thinking about, hey, maybe I could get a hat trick. He's never had one. Coyles won the faceoff. Quick pass to Anderson. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. Center's jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck and manages to clear the zone. Sends a pass over. Tays it up from the back end, and he stands tall in goal. And that'll do it for period number two. Lots of action at both ends of the ice so far through 40 minutes. We've got a 3-2 game. Be sure to get next year's season tickets now. This year's locations and prices without paying extra for... And we'll be right back for what should be a very intriguing third. Don't miss your opportunity to pick up the best locations for next season. Stop by section 144 on the... Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Third period action. Ready to go. Barring extra time, the final frame of this one. Here we go. Third period is underway. Play is blown dead. We've got a penalty on the way. Anderson's going to the box for tripping. He's going to look up at the big board and see that. You know what? That's a trip for sure. He got a stick in the wrong spot. Tripped up the player. Another special teams opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Here's a short pass to Granlin. And it's a quick pass to Granlin. Turns it aside. Still plenty of time left in this frame. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Oh, and another big stop. Sometimes you're in close. There's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Up along the wing. Puck scooped up by Meyer. Along the half wall with the puck. Puck knocked loose after that hit. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And a big defensive play as they'll clear the zone on the penalty kill. No mistake there. That puck scores! 
corners, and he puts his team in front. James, this game looked really comfortable as a tie game. Now they're ahead. They've got to continue to push. Goaltender's playing the percentages here, James. He drops into the butterfly, but he leaves the top of the net open. Gets beat up over the stick side. San Jose's coaches look pretty active on the bench there, Ray. What are you hearing? Well, they're happy that they've got the lead, but they want to make sure that nobody sits back to defend. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. By number 28, Timo Meyer. On the attack along the boards. Comes up with the stop. Denies him again. San Jose's outplayed the opposition tonight, particularly offensively, as they lead it early in this third period. Good read by the winger as the two centers tie up. Slides the puck to Meyer. And now he tries to get it across to Carlson. And he slides it quickly to Brody. Tries to get it to Pesci. Looks to pass it to Kreider. Moves it to Kreider. And now he angles it across to Niederreiter. San Jose's looking to break out of their own end. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Slides the puck ahead to Kreider. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Can't connect. The Sharks take over on possession. Slides the puck over. From the right side. Moves it up ahead. Pass to Niederreiter. And now it's grabbed by Steen. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Sent into the offensive zone. Carolina's got the puck along the boards. Moves the puck over to Kreider. Couture's won the draw here in the offensive zone. What a steal in his own end. Carolina's had outstanding stick positioning. Coaches will love to show this in the video tomorrow. Kreider's taking the puck behind the net. Kicked up ahead to his teammate who skates away. Quick feed to Kreider. Oh, what a save in front. Jones had to be sharp. That shot from dead center. Knocked away. And he slides it quickly to Kane. The Hurricanes have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Niederreiter's got it along the wing. That goes off the post and stays out. The Hurricanes sure could have used the break there. That shot hits the goal post, and they still trail. Set it out in front, and a stick in the lane ends that threat. Picked up along the boards by Couture. Moves it quickly over to Meyer, and he scores! What a shot! good work in the offensive zone here as the shooter keeps moving around till he finds the open spot in this case it's gold he's in the high slot and he hammers it home San Jose's insurance marker has really widened the gap here in the back half of the third and now it turns into a little bit of a free-for-all they're comfortable with their two goal lead but the other guys you know they're going to be pressing the play trying to get back in it easily turned away by the goaltender A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Hamannick's got the puck in his own zone. And now he moves it quickly to Kreider. Quick shot. Denies him with a save. Centering pass. Hammers it. Steps in front of it for the block. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Svechnikov's going to play it against the half wall. Makes the save. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Coyle's got the puck. Comes up with the steal. Puck picked up by Niederreiter. He's got a little jump. He's in, all alone. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. Late goings of this period. San Jose's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. 
While the setters are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Now a quick pass to Gauthier. Puts it on net, just wide. They say it's a game of inches, James. If that puck is a couple of inches to the side, that hits the post and goes in. Puck grabbed by Fogel. Quick pass to Walmart. Here's a shot. Oh, what a glove save! Carolina's offense and struggles have been the story tonight. Lots of chances, just not a lot of results. Final horn is sounded, bringing this one to an end. It's like the old song goes, all they do is win, win, win. Man, it's fun when you play like this. Your team goes into a game you almost know you're going to win, and they've put together a long winning streak.